Keith Morrison on another level. As he'll say, in a Tony suburb where, well, no one locks their doors. <laughs> Up? Yeah. Like, question mark? And whenever he says the word or, there or. is some sinister shit coming About right behind happen. it. He goes, she went to work that morning. Or did she? Did she? <laughs> oh, I He's love amazing. it. amazing. Yeah. He's the Vince Scully of murder. And in- I will say this. I put a tweet out that was Nick's because we we're talking about hoarders. And it's the one that people backtrack and go, that's the funniest shit I ever read. And uh, this is a Nicky Cox tweet. <laughs> hoarders is out on DVD. I just ordered 640,000 copies. <laughs> It seems so bizarre to me. They, they were advertising. I was watching Hoarders, and they were advertising, get get all four seasons of Hoarders. <laughs> buy and more. I was, yeah. Buy Blu-ray, too. Yeah, and they who's were. Who's watching Hoarders besides us? Hoarders. Hoarders. Right. Like, oh, oh, my show's coming well, out. I a lot need of stuff them. at that house. Not <laughs> just mine. I need all of them. Rocking, rocking. Yeah, jonesing. They always, <laughs> jonesing. They always rock, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah just jonesing for more. Do you think Hoarders more? are watching Hoarders like, ooh, look at this lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> He's got, He's got 12 He's Christmas got trees. He's piles of shit How in his bedroom. How do I get that, that, <laughs> I never even the thought one, of Easter decorations. Who, I've been putting it all in my Christmas and Halloween basket. That one lady has all those rotting pumpkins. Remember her? Yeah. yeah she loves – yeah, man. Do you remember Sir Patrick on Hoarders? He was the guy that was a Vietnam vet. He was a chaplain in Vietnam. And he had a house in Florida. He had a fucking blow up doll in the passenger seat of his Cadillac. And his Cadillac looked like Dennis Woodruff, the actor's car. I've talked to Dennis, yeah. The covered in shit. We'll get to that. Yeah. Don't, don't forget that. But the inside of his house was like you entered an enchanted, enchanted forest of like Asian shitty knickknacks. He had fountains. And he had like Asian screens. He walked around in a kimono. And like leprechaun lots, suits. Leprechaun suits. And he called them, he gave himself like some 18 name name, like Sir Patrick. Da, da, da. And he was like this five foot five guy that was a fucking tunnel rat in Nam. Yeah. And his whole thing was he was in Nam. He probably slit some fucking throats for real. I'd like to hear about Little it, potheads. potheads. And he really did it. So now like he's back home when he goes in his house. It's this fucking fantasy land he's created. And, and it I'm was like, well organized. It was completely organized. And he had no dead animals. And Nick and I were like, don't take a fucking thing from this guy. Yeah. Well, collapse. He, he obviously needs this. Fu- these he's, wall- fr- he's fragile. He's a fragile man. He's fucking Defoe from Platoon with the knife in his mouth. See you in a couple weeks. Going down in the tunnel right. and slitting throats and yeah. fucking taking trinkets. Yeah. And we were that you let him remember, have his Netsukis. He needs them. He trended. He was the first hoarder to trend. Sir Patrick. Really? He, Tommy, you will love this guy, and you'll want He's to delightful. meet him, and you want to go yeah. to his house, and he'd like intricate waterfalls. Did they, so did they clean him out? Did they? They get cleaned him out. They, they orga- he, but they, st- they organized him. They they let him keep a lot of his stuff nice. And at first he like said, his nicest "No Asian stuff. stuff leaves." No, and he put his foot down, and he would also wear like a Chinaman hat. With like the fake ponytail, and he would walk around. Really? Like, he would walk around almost like he was in the video game Shinobi. Like he would dress up like a ninja. Yeah. And and like he you. Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. And to get through the house, he had to stand sideways. But everything was like China. It wasn't like boxes of shit. It was meticulously set up like glass menagerie, displayed. like animals. I got all my things here. Like yeah. yeah, like if he moved an elbow, everything would have come crashing down in a heap. Like it was the most delicate. And he was a little effeminate, and he yeah, was like, like a we small. Maybe he was, he's he was gay. like five two, yeah. like little round, tiny fig- little dude. Yeah, huh? a little round figured fellow. Tunnel rat dude. He was he was a, he was really sweet. And, like I and wanted I to meet wa- this guy. He wasn't a hoarder. He was magic. He was a magical man. He was the. <laughs> Hoarders, <laughs> magical <No>. hoarders. <laughs> Who then, else? Well, then Randy would qualify. Is Randy magical? Matt, yes. Yeah, if you Come got Randy's thousands speak. of Randys, so how many magical hoarders are there? So we got. So hoard- far, I only know of two, but you know, I, how, I really need to start counting. How much counting. would you shit if I got you a fancy Randy for your house? Would In you pay that? Or length? Like. <laughs> <laughs> It's Nikki Cox. Is that no, the most amazing no gift Twitter though? address. If, I, if you had a uh, fancy Randy or a Randy of any kind, yeah, it doesn't have to be fancy Randy, right, it could but be it, it would have to be like a real Randy though. A real, like I don't want you just to like go to, to the make one. Store. No, but if I got one from Randy, from actual Randy, yeah, he would never give it up because he, he thinks it's over there with that thing. Yeah, you put him next to Mr. Floppy. That's pretty awesome. I kind of mustache where studios. Would, where the fuck we would have to just put it here? But then. When this isn't a studio, it's a gym. That means I'm on the treadmill watching fights with fucking Fancy Randy up you, in the air uh, yeah. above Diego Sanchez knocking out Campman. You, you think that Fancy Randy's not going to just pump you up? 
You'll get he an would, extra you know mile because of Fancy Randy. You'd look, you'd look at Fancy yeah. Randy, you'd go, you know what, bud? I got gotcha. you. I got a couple miles left in me. Yeah. Fuck this shit. Hey, Fancy Randy. Miles. Ra- I'm hey, talking minutes. Hey, Fancy Randy. <laughs> that. Watch this. What are you, Bert? <laughs> so you said you met Dennis Woodruff, the quote actor? I did. When I... Dennis Woodruff, for those of you listening, yeah. this is more stories. Tom Segura, Nikki Cox, Matt Cohen. I am uh, Neil Patrick Harris. And what uh, Dennis Woodruff is a guy that's been trying to be an actor since I moved to Hollywood and probably long before that. Right. And what he's done is he's he's resorted to just making his car. It's made entirely of headshots. And it says Dennis Woodruff, the actor, yeah. hire me and hire his phone me. number all over right. his car. But his car has become – it's like when you see Angeline. Yeah. It's like this bizarre like Corvette. unicorn sighting. Yeah. Whenever you see Angeline, do you take it to the sign of good luck? Uh, I do. It does. It makes me smile. I definitely. Like, I saying, do. Right. And Fabio as well. I don't see her billboards anymore. She's no, pay for yeah, but I no. See Fabio all the time. Whenever I see Fabio in real life, I, her billboards are gone. But whenever I yeah. see Angeline in real life, I go, "Oh, today's going to be a good day." Really? You yeah. Good it, about yeah. 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 It's like a it four-leaf clover. Like a shooting star. Yeah. 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 I go, see, Angeline's super rare, and she's got the pink Corvette. To go, like, there's a whole package. She would get. Billboards on Hollywood Boulevard. Those aren't right. cheap billboards. No, the her, that was from but her manager with, slash husband, really. But the he, thing he with was Fabio behind her. was like, you just she was him expensive. At the gym. I tried to get her to come to our house to sing happy birthday to JJ. didn't work. Are you serious? Yeah, I called her. I got China instead. Yeah, China. Ca- China? Yes. No, no, the country. <laughs> yeah. There was a billion people in my house. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. All, yeah, wow. Could have taken that. Tough hustle. But it didn't. <laughs> yes, but China the wrestler. I got the her. The thing instead. with. Uh, Fabio, as you see him like in line at Vons, like he's everywhere. Yeah, I've he's never ubiquitous. Seen him in Ubi- what's the word? Ubiquitous. Thank you, the smart one. <laughs> but the th- how about when Fabio was on the roller coaster and got hit in the face with a fucking yeah. bird? Yeah, what? That was amazing. That was l- talk about the good luck. Like you're on a roller coaster and it's the grand opening of the roller coaster, and you sit down like, okay, we're only doing twos and fours, and you're like, well, we're threes. Don't worry about it. Because we got Fabio, he's a one. We'll hook you up in the front with. So you're in the front of a roller coaster. You're just Joe Blow from the UP in Michigan, and you're sitting next to fucking Fabio. Yeah. And this wasn't he like in Austria or something? Wasn't he? It was the grand opening of the world's titsed out fucking awesomest. This will rip your fucking cock off roller coaster of all time. And then it wasn't like in a loop where no one would see it. It was like where it comes in for its landing where everybody's like, oh, my God, that was crazy. But you're still doing like 40 miles an hour. And then it was a, a goose. It, it was a giant goose just hits him in the fucking face. You didn't see this? No. You got to be shitting me, Tommy. Oh, it was years ago. And you're it was, an asshole. It was a thing of beauty. Why? <laughs> You go home and YouTube Fabio. No, it was on the it was on like birds. the real news. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, they, and there's they footage would... of it. Oh he, yes, it was like he there was, was a, he was there blood. he was, was like, there for the grand opening. He had to act cool. He had to act Fabio after the fact. <laughs> like, hey, no big. I can't believe no, it's first, not butter. First he cried because I mean it was, it was a bloody mess. It was a big giant goose beak right into his, into his, beak, into his face. That had to be high impact for sure. High impact, but frightening, but they're soft. Perfect. Goose nah, beaks? nothing that fast. Goose bodies. Yeah, that's not soft. I man. don't think their beaks. Are I think it bring down a fucking plane, but they didn't bring down Fabio. He didn't fucking go down. He doesn't go down for anybody. Yeah, but He's like Jake Lamotta, but, but he did bleed a lot. My face hurt. No, I saw when I moved to L.A. Did you see when Randy Johnson hit the bird with his fastball? Yes, that's that amazing. is probably less likely to happen than the one of the four can, of us I going feel like to that Mars. Doesn't get, I feel like that should be. World CNN like first lead story. That thing's even, amazing. Even now, have you yes, ever seen it? It's yes. amazing. It is ridiculous. I have to. Ridiculous. I have to hear Dennis Woodruff with you. Tony. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I when I moved here, I also had like that. You know, a car like, with with I had a car with on it. headshots, and I was like, hire me. <laughs> and did you have race, racial overtones on your car? <laughs> Swastikas, tacos. Jewish people. Yeah, really tacos. Just to want the tacos. I didn't know I was pregnant. I thought I had to take a shit. Oh man! So <laughs> um, at Tom Segura. <laughs> so I saw Woodruff, and I was just fascinated by him. Like, like you know, you move here, you're like, this is real. This guy's a real guy. Yeah, because you've seen him on like Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, some shit like that. And then you, you, uh, there was I, I saw him driving by, and I was like, who is this guy? Then I heard about him. Then I saw that he had How actually. Could you wonder he has signs everywhere that tells you exactly who he is. You must be the I am only Dennis Woodruff. asshole on the planet when he Dennis Woodruff yeah. drives by to go. Who is this guy? Well, you know. It it says, did you know how to read? I, on the car. I knew who he fucking was. I'm just saying. Like, whoa, I, whoa, I, whoa. I, 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 no, you want to eat like what a bizarre existence. Exa- exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then I've I saw. i never heard Tommy say F that way. I, 
then I, I researched him. I started, I saw that he, he had, he had done like different, you know, like, like foreign, like, uh, news agencies will do like, here's a weird American. Oh, and they'll, yeah. they'll do like a little profile on him. Like Japan, like had done some on one of their shows had done like, here's Dennis Woodruff. Then I was in Amoeba. And I found movies that he had made. The Amoeba Record Store. Amoeba for the Record in the Store. Of the country. Yes, Amoeba Record Store in Hollywood. He had his movies. He had like handwritten pen was on the cover of like here's movies I'm in. So I was like I'm buying this shit. And I watched the they're, they're the, the worst fucking things you've ever seen in your life. And then how I, is he as an actor? He's terrible. He's awful. And then I saw him. You said that with such hope. And yeah, kindness. I know. And but, that's what people need to know about you. It's how kind you were cheering you are. for him, and oh, how yeah. precious. Like you, you were leaned over. I, I hope maybe like, he was good. It no, was like terrible. Linus hoping Miss Othmar was coming back. Is Miss Othmar coming? Was he back? good? Why, well, just, was he, how yeah. was he as an actor? Yeah. I mean, just because so he, he's a poor driver doesn't mean that he's not. I mean, that's very. That's very. Were they fair. Dennis Woodruff movies? Yes, or just weird movies. Written by, directed in the by. Of? No, no, no. Like stuff that he had. Like friends had. Like you know, it wasn't like Tarantino where he like wrote and directed his own stuff. Okay. And then one day I saw him parked, so I went and I talked to him. And I said, hey, man, I'm a big fan. Like, I've seen, I bought your thing. You liar. Yeah. And I, I just. No, like, he's not a liar. He bought all this I stuff. I did buy his stuff. I bought his stuff. And I was like, you're really good. Uh, like, how come, you know, you're not in, in more movies? And he, he gave me this speech. And he was like, you know, Hollywood, they got it all fucked up. Like, <laughs> he goes, they got the same guys starring in every movie. You know, it's Affleck. And Harrison Ford, and he's like, what about some other guys? And I was like, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you should be that guy. And he was like, that's what I'm working for, man. You should go Ford, Affleck, and, Woodruff. Like, yeah, it's just exactly <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> And, uh, I, you know, I just chatted with him for a while, and I was like, I, I think you, you got it coming to you. And he was like, thanks, man. And, you know, just nice So guy. he was totally cool. He was weird, but, you know. No. How, how so? Well, he has this van. No, I mean, you know, but he was, uh, yeah, he was, he was friendly enough for sure, but he definitely believes, he really thinks like, is he, I must be missing out, I must be missing out on these, on these, mo- on these movies by like, Wait, like I'm the third say? guy. Is he one of those people who refers to acting as his craft? No, thank God, no. Okay. That would have made it even more interesting, but he would, he, I think he really thinks like, those man, they hired Jay, foul. but like, I know I was, sa- I got, it was like between me and him. Like I can't believe they went with him. They again. went with Jay Moore instead yeah. of me because yeah. he's uh, he's like an East Coast guy. They yeah. wanted a different. Vibe. They wanted a different. Vibe. So he really thinks he's a phone call away from greatness. Absolutely. But and he does he have a phone really in good. his car? I hope. You know what? I bet he does have a phone in his car. now. But he has dogs. What, what about then? No, I don't think he had a phone then. Now no. he's probably got a fax machine in that thing. Yeah, he's he's probably like a little behind, but not that far behind. Like right. he's not shitting in an outhouse, but he's got like a rotary phone in his fucking car. <laughs> he's got to do the dial. <laughs> yeah, like he doesn't use pay phones. He he's the pay phone in the car would be the best. And I'm sure. I'm sure too. I, I bet Dennis is the guy where he probably every once in a while does get an audition. And when he gets, I'm sure he's the guy who an hour later. Like calls, like the casting department. He's like, What's his feedback? Hey, it's Woodruff. How'd I do? Did you guys <laughs> yeah. make a Got decision yet? And they're like, No, not yet. And he's like, or, All right, I'll call you in an hour. Or he hands out his movies and pamphlets to everybody else in the waiting room. Yeah. 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 That's the thing I learned early on. Like, I used to call my agent all the time, like, What'd they think about me? What'd they think about me? And then I realized, like, What do you think? If you get a movie, this guy's not going to fucking call you? Yeah. Like, just forget it happened. Get it out of your head. It's making you crazy. It really is that way, right? You just totally... I leave the audition. I put the script in the trash. Never happened. It's the only way to exist as an actor without slitting your wrists. Oh. So you did the Norm show. Yeah. Where you played a prostitute. Yeah. But turned uh, social worker. But the reason (laughs) you were hired is one of the greatest showbiz reasons ever. I, I so that Norm could use the term "dirty whore" in every episode and have it make sense. So every episode, Norm said, if "You, you hire used to her, be a dirty whore to my hey, character." That's why they created her character just so he could say that. So that on the the Norm show, he could go, "Hey, uh, why don't you ask that dirty, dirty whore if uh, there's she, any she recidivists?" Used, she used to be a, a dirty whore. Yeah. Every and they wrote it into every script because unless the character is an actual former prostitute, the network would never let you say. Sure, but now you're like justify dirty it, whore. right? Yeah. And then Norm's like, no, like her, she has like business cards that say dirty whore. So Norm, they wrote that character because Norm 
had like echolalia. He had like a hair on his ass. Like yeah. if I could only say dirty, dirty whore, whore. <laughs> every episode. That would and make, 